Jake Robinson. I'm from Chelan and work for Robinson Orchards. Uh, we have apples, pears, and just getting into cherries. Um, our orchards are spread out in, around the Chelan area, uh, getting to see the, the orchard process from a young age, you know, going through harvest and kind of getting to feel that environment. Um, it's a lot of fun. So there's a lot that I learned. I should have paid more attention as, as I was going through high school and even younger than that, uh, horticulturally wise, as I was going through the seasons, uh, watching the change in the fruit, watching um, what's happening and paying attention to it. Uh, coming back, I've, I've been here for three years now and, and I've, so I've only really got to see two full seasons and, and working on my third. So it's kind of hard to calibrate uh, what should a good crop look like, what's a bad crop look like, how does, how does hail impact us, things like that. The Chelan, yeah, it's definitely unique. We, we have to farm kind of with the contours of the land. Our blocks are quite a bit smaller. Uh, this climate here is perfect for, for tree fruit. Um, you know, we don't fight, uh, we have frost, but we don't fight it as much. The slopes uh, allow for the air movement to come through. Um, just the, the temperature at night, the temperature during the day, the way they work together, uh, it works to our benefit for sure if you've grown up in agriculture. It would be a good thing to get out and, and to experience a different type of job, to get out and try something new, um, because you, you learn how the world works outside of, of what you've always known. Uh, how do people act, uh, what their work ethic is. Uh, you can also learn specific skills like uh, mechanics, you know, um, that definitely applies to tree fruit. We as a company are getting into club varieties uh, more and more as we go uh, just because the return is there and it's, it's a way for a small grower to stay in the game. The older varieties, they worked and they're great, but they're just, you know, you, you got to stay competitive. Even as a small guy, you got you to gotta be competitive, you got to have your niche somehow. Uh, really, each block uh, that we're looking to renew, we have to evaluate, uh, first off, what root stock's there, is it worth grafting? What's our long-term goals for the block? Um, as far as, is it, a, is it a block that we want to be mechanized? If it is, that pretty much limits what you can graft. A lot of our older blocks are just not set up to be able to uh, build kind of even a semi-high density orchard that could be mechanized and a lot more efficient. So when we look at those orchards, big old growth, orchards, we pretty much just say we've got to rip it out and, and redo. But if we've got a moderate density orchard that, that we maybe that doesn't even have a trellis in it um, and we can look at it and, and kind of come up with maybe a bi-axis system or something that would work in there, put in a trellis and make it into a more modern orchard. So you may get stuck with a variety and, and feel like I just love it, I know it's going to make a comeback. Uh, but that may not be reality. You know, you got to look at the numbers and make sure that it works and find that variety that does work for you in your location. We've had good luck with Honeycrisp, uh, as everybody has <laughs> with Honeycrisp, but we've got a really good site for it and it's opened the door uh, to a lot of other varieties that um, kind of help us move forward. So constantly just looking at your block and, and not trying to hold off and say, ah, oh, you know, maybe next year will be a better year, but reevaluate and think to, your, to yourself, you know, how can I make next year a better year?